Let's read some ten. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hands down the weak, who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are ways. Uh, his ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, "Nothing will ever shake me." He swears, "No one will ever do me harm." His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims, like a lion in cover. He lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. What's that, baby? He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, "God will never notice." He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, "He won't call for me to count"? But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider your grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evil doer to account for his wickedness. That will not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king for ever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord. Hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed, so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. Thank you for watching. May God be with you. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.